Mike Flanagan is officially set to write and direct the next Exorcist flick for Blumhouse. Let's talk a little bit about this. Welcome to the Killjoy Jake YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Real quickly before we get into today's update, I want to thank my absolutely wonderful patrons out there. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to upload as frequently as I do. I got two videos coming out today. One talking about this brand new update on Mike Flanagan taking over the Exorcist franchise, as well as a spoiler review of In a Violent Nature. So thank you again to my patrons and channel members for your support. Sign up for my Patreon today by clicking on the link in the description of this video or by pressing the join button on this page. Now let's get into the update. So it was announced yesterday that modern master of horror, if you don't mind me saying, Mike Flanagan is set to write, direct, and produce the next Exorcist film for Blumhouse and Universal. And no, this will not be a sequel to 2023's The Exorcist Believer, thank God. Flanagan will apparently offer a radical new take on the franchise. Plans for David Gordon Green's Exorcist trilogy are no longer moving forward, now we're just getting a flick from Flanagan. It might end up turning into a trilogy again, so we might actually have four or new Exorcist flicks, including The Exorcist Believer, but we'll just have to see in time. Mike Flanagan said in a statement, The Exorcist is one of the reasons I became a filmmaker, and it is an honor to have the chance to try something fresh, bold, and terrifying within its universe. Reuniting with my friends at Blumhouse, with whom I've made some of my favorite pieces of work, only makes this more exciting. Jason Blum from Blumhouse also made a statement saying, Mike's voice and vision are indispensable for horror fans, and we are excited to welcome him back to Blumhouse. I immediately responded to Mike's new take on the world of The Exorcist and can't wait for audiences to experience it. And David Robinson, chairman and CEO of Morgan Creek, said it's an honor to be working with Mike. I think his vision for this franchise is going to stun audiences worldwide and I could not be more excited to be working with him. Trevor, Jason, and the entire Blumhouse team. This will be Mike's fourth film with Blumhouse, as he wrote and directed flicks such as Oculus from 2013, Hush 2016, and Ouija Origins of Evil, also in 2016. All across the board, a bunch of bangers. Oculus and Ouija 2 are notably possession flicks too, so if you're like, who the heck is this guy? I don't know who he is. Well, don't worry, he has definitely done movies similar to this in the past. I was first introduced to Mike Flanagan when watching the sequel to Ouija. I remember seeing the first one in theaters and not being super impressed, but then I saw the sequel and I was like, whoa, this is really good. Ouija Origin of Evil is one of those rare sequels that tops the original in every single facet. It is so damn good. And Mike Flanagan has also taken on bigger sequels to even better flicks, like the Shining sequel, which is still really good. And I've even heard some fans say it's better than the original, which is crazy to me. Dr. Sleep rocks if you have not seen it. For some reason, it bombed at the box office. I don't understand that. In some ways, it is better than the Shining, but not entirely. Still a great watch though, if you have not seen it, it is a totally different animal than The Shining as well, so give it a watch. This guy is perfect for The Exorcist on every single level, considering his track record. He rarely misses. Dude's got the Midas touch. He's a modern master of horror. I think he's absolutely earned that title with how good his filmography is, and especially his damn TV shows. Did you guys see Haunting of Hill House? The shit made me cry. It scared the fuck out of me. It was awesome. All we have right now is this little announcement, but as more things start to come out about the flick, of course, your boy will keep you updated. Are you excited? to see Mike's new take on The Exorcist, leave me something about it in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.